The first half of the Fargo Moorhead Redhawks long trip to the Lone Star State may not have gone according to plan, but thankfully there's plenty of time to turn things around down there. The Redhawks dropping two out of three games so far in Texas to the Cleburne Railroaders. The Roaders taking the Wednesday and Thursday contest. There's still three meetings left on the schedule for these cross division foes starting tonight. We're going to start this one off with a little prime time action. Corral Prime on the mound for the Red Hawks tonight, and he is dealing early. Prime with two strikeouts in the opening frame, including this one to retire the side. The Rotors would eventually get on the board, though. They're up 1 0 in the top of the fifth, but the Red Hawks respond in style. That's the newest member of the team, Matt Goodhart, blasting this one into right field, and it's out of here. Goodhart's first home run of the season comes at a perfect time. We are tied up at one. But that tie's only going to last a single inning into the sixth we go Leo Pena up to bat with a runner on he gets all of that one which may be the most terrifying thing for an opposing pitcher to see Pena with an absolute moonshot over the scoreboard in left field the Red Hawks grab their first lead of the game and the Hawks with a three to two win to even up the series at two games each prime is credited with the win on the mound pitching for 6.2 innings and striking out six Cleburne batters Alex Dubord came in to close things out in the bottom of the ninth grabbing a strikeout in that inning as well these two teams still have two more games to play this weekend. They'll be in action down in Texas on Saturday and Sunday. And it looks like the players only meeting that reportedly took place after the Twins were swept by the Atlanta Braves had a positive effect on the team tonight. The Twins opening up their series against the Baltimore Orioles with an offensive explosion, defeating Baltimore 8 to 1. This marks the most runs scored in a single game for Minnesota since their 8 to 2 win over Houston back on May 31st. These two teams meet again tomorrow in Baltimore. 12 Legion baseball teams in action across four ballparks this weekend as part of the annual Jim Peterson Memorial Tournament. Fargo Post 2 winning their opening game against Creighton Prep, now hosting Wyzetta. Wyzetta with a couple of runners on here in the top of the first, but Carson Sheet gets out of it, striking the batter out looking to retire the side. Post 2 loading up the bases now in the top of the, or bottom of the first. Adam Leininger launches this one deep into center field, falling just short of the fence, but that is good enough to bring the first two runs of the game back home. Leininger deep double gives post two a two nothing lead. Base is still loaded for post two now who now have a five to nothing lead after three walks and a single. Landon Meyer going to add to that lead now a little bit more of a conventional way. The shallow fly ball that's going to be caught for the second out of the inning. Post two give themselves a six run lead, but this play isn't over yet. The throw to second is going to catch the runner in a bit of a pickle. He is tagged out at first as Wyzetta gets out of the frame, but the damage is already done. Post two crew Cruising to a 14 to 2 win. They open the peat with a perfect 2 and 0 record. Now we're going to be checking in all throughout the weekend with all of our Legion teams in action, including Moorhead, West Fargo, Post 400. So we're going to be as busy as I possibly can be this weekend. Perfect. <laughs> Just so you want for a holiday. I don't weekend. like boring yeah. weekends.